90 Nocturne Boulevard presents 1995. More delays for the space shuttle. Fit, you must equip. What's up with this virtual Game Boy? And comment to rumors of Royal Devore. Does that mean you pay for it and just pretend? And now back to the Prisoner of Hancock House. Season 1, Episode 15. We're all waiting on that name, you know. Name? Associated with the Site X-14. We're um, reasonably sure whatever is inhabiting that location is rather more than a residual human. Meaning a ghost? No, meaning not a ghost. Please, try to keep up. I meant... Never mind, please go on. <sighs> whatever the entity or force is, not a ghost, having its name will help us deal with it. And you hope someone will remember it after all this time? Five years passes faster for some than for others. Names. Names are always powerful. Humans are about the only ones on this sorry little planet that don't always follow that logic. Hmm? The dining table took up most of the room. Six chairs, I remember from later. <sighs> That's where you held the seance? Yeah. There was a small chandelier about here. Wait, wasn't that where Roger was standing? He was standing in the table, too. I doubt a light fixture would have, would have phased him. No other doors? No. It was a good heavy table, too. Real wood. Does it matter? It does if you've ever been accused of faking phenomena. What the heck? Garrett. It's gone, Morgan. There's no residue ectoplasm at all. How odd. You can explain that in just a moment. Where's the psychic? Back there. Kitchen. Right. Garrett, what do you need? You saw the phone? I need some time. I'm going to have to splice the facts in. And at best, Morgan, it's still dicey if it will work. Get on it. We'll... Wait. Where's the rookie? She's over... Over here! Hawk, get the psychic. And what do you think you're doing in here? I wasn't touching anything. You need to stay with everyone else. Is that clear? Do not disobey direct orders. I could see you. I figured you could see me. Besides, she pushed me in here. You stay within arm's length of me or Hawk. You hear me? Why? In case we need to slap some sense into you. In case we need to push you out of harm's way. Dude's back. <sighs> Yeah. Are you going to be okay? Never mind. It's just... pain. That rookie. What was she doing in the living room? Just poking around, I think. Though she did say she specifically wasn't touching anything. Describe the room. Did you go in? I just glanced, but... Seti and a couple of chairs around a coffee table. Everything looked like it had been carefully preserved since they first moved in. Doilies on the backs. And a Macassars. Sorry. Low shelves below the windows with books and albums. Fireplace on the far wall. Mirror over it that reflected the whole room. Photos. She, uh, Ava, said something about the photos. The photos? I didn't really look. Relatives? The door to the locked room is here. A smell? Then or now? I... Are, are you doing this? Think of it as a kind of sympathetic magic. Sometimes even a tenuous link can bring new information to light. What's the smell? Ammonia. Cleaning products. Just here. And what was there in the room? Do you recall? Something, but nothing that registered. Boxes of Christmas. We're done. I'm not... What just happened? I said I wouldn't. All the sympathetic magic bullshit in the world can't force Which me- Which one was it? No. I won't. Maybe they wish to speak to you. You can't make me. Really? What if you're right? What? Me? What? Go ahead. Everyone keeps sneakily using words like, only one left to talk, or only one who walked out of there. But specifically not, only survivor, or only one left alive. Ah. Uh, who else? Shall we quid pro quo? I feel like I'm the only one doing all the quoing. 
Tell me what you just heard, and I will answer one question. No evasions, no hesitations. I heard the voice of Ava Donner saying, Boxes of Christmas. Noted. And your question? I think I'm going to hold on to that for now. Nocturne Boulevard's The Prisoner of Hancock House features Michael Coleman as Mark Stockman, Kimberly Poole as Agent Cook, Mark Olson as Agent Zachary, Fiona Thrale as Agent Judge, Rick Lewis as Professor Howell. The previous team was Tanya Maloyevic as Rita Morgan, Reese Torres Miller as J.C. Hawk, James Leeper as Garrett Judge and Julie Hoverson as Ava Donner. Also heard in this episode, Sarah Golding, Barry Howarth, The Prisoner of Hancock House, was written by Julie Hoverson. Sound editing was done by Julie Hoverson. The show's theme music was composed by Dane Russell Leonardson. Voices in the opening credits include Gwendolyn Jensen Woodard, Sarah Golding, Terry Cooper, and Julie Hoverson. The 19 Nocturne Boulevard theme, Netherworld Shanty, was composed by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. Sound effects were licensed from SoundSnap, ProSoundEffects, and FreeSoundEffects, or used under a Creative Commons license. All persons, places, and things in this episode are fictitious or used in a fictitious manner, and any resemblance to people living dead or undead is purely coincidental. Many thanks to our Patreon supporters. For a full list of cast members, and to find out how to help support the show, please email us at 19nocturne at live.com or check out our Facebook page. We love to hear from people. Copyright 2019 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions.